Good morning, Les Lito community. Just, uh, it's a morning of markers and more markers. And of course, dogs. Oh, oh, what we got going on there? What's that all about? I think I might be tasting some of that tonight. Maybe through that guy. We'll see. You know, it, it would be sort of, uh, I mean, I don't have a gavel, so what better marker to get shot by with Grimberg Kinetics than uh, the Grimberg FSE Carbine. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to make a video this morning about this little sucker. I, I did a very brief review on this last winter where I was just like, ah, oh, it works, works really well. I had uh, I, this, this guy, Jacob, um, asked me a couple questions this week about this, that, and the other. And when we got to this topic, um, you know, I, I think it's something that a lot, a lot of us might not think about until we have our marker. And then we're like, oh shit, what if I don't want to use CO2? What if I want to have an HPA tank and I want to keep refilling it? Where do I go to do that? How do I do it? What do I use to do it with? And so I was giving Jacob some of the standard options, like go to a paintball place and get ripped off to get it filled every time and potentially get it filled with like dirty air from a greasy hose. Or you go to a scuba shop and you get really good clean air, but it also comes at a price. Um, or you get a scuba tank and you take that to a shop and you fill it up every now and then. And you use that to draw from, which uh, you do still have to occasionally pay to get it refilled. And scuba tanks are not cheap, but it's a very quick fill. It's like all your tanks fill up real fast. Especially if you have a big old tank like this that takes a minute on a, one of these little miniature compressors. Or you can use one of these guys and they do work. This, this I have filled, I've lost count of the number of tanks I've filled off this guy. All right, so he works, he's paid for himself and then some. Uh, but it does take a little while. I think I'm about to time how long it takes. This guy is right at a thousand. This is an FN303 tank. And once it drops down to a thousand, I don't wanna be using it after that. The shots start to get dramatically weaker, much quicker, you know. So this little compressor, the reason I went with this one, I mean, it's kind of hard to find one that has good reviews. <laughs> A lot of them are like, yeah, it broke right away. This guy seems pretty reliable, but it also fills 4,500 PSI carbon fiber tanks. So you can do 3,000 tanks with this one too, of course, but I needed that because that's pretty much all I use on BKSs and FSCs. So let's, uh, let's do another one here. That might not take quite as long. Let's see. Uh, this connects to this, which vents. They can also be connected to a car battery, obviously. So I'm just gonna plug this guy in real quick here. Right here. All right, so that starts venting. <coughs> Here's your hose. You don't have to do this in any particular order. You do have to make sure that your bleed valve is closed. Then you turn it on. Then you do your connection. And we'll see how long that takes. 